So, uh, today I will I will start uh, quantum mechanical treatment for uh, atomic and molecular physics. So, one has to use quantum mechanics So, so far uh, we have explained the atomic spectra based on the basically uh, old quantum theory, it is not actually it is not the quantum mechanics, it is uh, just uh, uh, that can be uh, treated as a, uh, as a uh, bridge between the classical mechanics and the quantum mechanics. So, from classical concept we are uh, going towards the mechanical concept, uh, quantum mechanical concept and in between this old quantum theory that is the basically uh, from classical to quantum that is the development and on ad hoc basis a uh, lot of uh, uh, assumption was made. Okay. So, uh, actually this quantum mechanics it is realized that this uh, for small system like atoms, molecules uh, and many other things uh, uh, which are in uh, size is very small. So, for that classical mechanics is not is not the appropriate one. So, one needs new mechanics. So, that is the idea for, uh, for, uh, for quantum mechanics. So, that quantum mechanics actually it was developed during this 1926 to 19 uh, I think 1929. During this period, this quantum mechanics was uh, was developed by Schrodinger. Then Heisenberg. and Dirac. So, they developed this uh, quantum mechanical formalism uh, for, for uh, uh, small particles like atom or, or electron and uh, uh, so first basically this very useful uh, formalism that is the Schrodinger equation. So, Schrodinger equation it is uh, we write this equation H psi equal to E psi. So, that is the equation is called Schrodinger equation. Now, Now, what is H, what is psi, what is E? So, for that uh, one has to uh, one has to go through the some postulates. So, this equation or this quantum mechanics also this based on some postulates is 5, 6 postulates. Okay. So, uh, I will not I will not tell in details, but uh, I will try to uh, explain whatever I will use in in quantum mechanics. So that psi is, is wave function, wave function. So wave function of what? Psi is wave function. Wave function of what? So 
So, wave function of, of our problem of our system, the system which we want to study, right. So, uh, say electron, electron it may be free electron, it may be electron in a in a potential well, okay. Uh, electron in a in a uh, central potential central force right as like in case of hydrogen atom. So, these are the system, these are the our problem we want to study the system. So, in quantum mechanics the system is expressed or our problem is expressed ok. So, our study material is expressed in terms of wave function and that is psi ok. So, so psi basically con should contain all information about the about the uh, about the uh, system which we uh, we are uh, want to study right. So, the psi have all information about the particle about the system and uh, and psi it has to follow some some rules it has to follow some rules. So, if if uh, if I want to so so about system all information is in psi. Now, what do we want to study about a system we want to we want to say we want to know the position uh, of our of our particle or system we want to know the momentum we want to know the uh, angular momentum we want to know the energy of the of the system. Okay. So, these are the properties or these are the observables in quantum mechanical language is called observables, observables what we want to observe, what we want to study that property. Okay. So, these are observables, so observable is the it is position say momentum ok. So, linear momentum and angular momentum angular momentum we want to know the want to know the energy energy of the system ok. So, how to know how to know this observables. So, that is why in quantum mechanics. So, for each observable hmm, there is there there will be operator it is called operator like position uh, it is uh, operator corresponding operator ok it is to write r cap say r cap. So, it is a operator position operator. Now, we want to observe the position is the observables. So, observables is basically if is a position r it is r right this is corresponding operator r cap. Now, idea is in quantum mechanics. So, if I if I apply this operator on the wave function then we will get output we will get that is the that is the observables we will get if position operator we apply on this wave function. So, I will get the position if I apply linear momentum. So, that is the that is the basically p linear momentum p ok. So, it is corresponding operator so p has different components so uh, its corresponding operator its right minus i h cross uh, del minus i h cross del okay so for 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 uh, p has three component 
p x p y p z ok p x p y p z. So, for for corresponding operator generally we also write p cap x p cap y p cap z okay. and it is uh, and this we write minus i x cross del by del x ok for p x del by del x for p y i x cross i this complex number is i equal to square root of minus 1. So, p y that will be i a minus i a is cos del by del y other one del by del z. Okay. So, this is the this is the operator okay, for position position operator sorry uh, uh, linear momentum operator. Now, if I apply this operator on the wave function. So, then I will get the momentum linear momentum of the of the system. So, uh, so as if this this I have all information and in in quantum mechanics there are uh, ob, uh, operators uh, they are they, they corresponds to uh, some observables whatever the uh, is is related with the property of the system. Okay. So, this corresponding operator if I apply on the wave function I will get the I will get the information that particular that information. Similarly, angular momentum is uh, basically r cross p r cross p right r cross p. So, it is uh, generally right in terms of l l angular momentum L equal to R cross P and corresponding operator L x one can write L x L y L z L x L y generally we write capital L generally we write capital L as operator say L L. So, it is three component L x L y L z ok L x L y L z and it has some form. So, actually this R cross P you can is cross product. So, this component that L x operator is uh, from here itself one can if you know this 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 R and P operator. So, from there here uh, one can find out. So, this basically it will be minus i h cross minus i h cross. So, this x means y del by del z minus z del by del y right. Similarly, L y y component z component. So, one can write one can write right. So, y it will be minus i a is cos y means z del by del x minus x del by del z. So, so this is the angular momentum operator. Now, if I apply angular momentum on this, so I should get the information about the about the uh, angular momentum of the of the system similar energy energy operator uh, e energy operator e so e energy its corresponding its operator is called hamiltonian its operator is called hamiltonian Hamiltonian and that is basically H. So, energy operator H and this this H is that H ok H psi equal to H psi. So, so energy it is an observable E corresponding operator is uh, uh, 
operator is uh, H. So, H is basically energy operator, it is uh, kinetic energy uh, plus potential energy plus potential energy. Okay. Okay. So, so this uh, so this p square by 2m p square you know from here one can so h one can write basically h this is the uh, yeah these are observable these are observable potential and this uh, momentum so corresponding operator in terms of operator so that will be hamiltonian operator energy operator so this if you if you take this one so one can write minus uh, I think yes. So, that will be minus minus plus. So, minus a cross square by 2 m ok a cross square by 2 m and then one can one can write del square ok. So, del square this dot this p p x square by uh, this uh, this as a whole. So, this way one can write this del square equal to basically uh, del 2 by del x square plus del 2 by del y square plus del 2 by del z square right. So, del z square. So, from here itself if you write take component component then you will get this or as a whole if you take this. So, p a p square means this dot this. So, a square square minus ok minus 1 and this plus 1. So, it should be plus ok a square square by 2 m then this del square. So, del square is called the Laplacian del square is called also Laplacian. So, this del square, so the del square is this, del square is this is called Laplacian, Laplacian. Okay. So, this uh, quantum mechanical language, so one has to be adopt with this uh, language. So, for, so this, this the so, in quantum mechanics, so one is wave function. So, here whatever I have written, so this wave function for a particular system, this wave function contain is uh, it, it, it contain all information about this particle. Now, in quantum mechanics, operators are there, different kind of operators as I as discussed. So, now if we apply operator on that, so you will get the observables. So, here if I energy operator I, I apply on this. So, if I get then I will get the energy of the system E and this equation is written like this. So, this E is called basically energy because it has come out uh, because of application of, uh, of, of, of uh, energy operator Hamiltonian. Okay. So, and this kind of equation is called Eigen equation. This kind of equation is called Eigen equation. So, it is a uh, is if I apply uh, operator on the wave function and if if gives the observable gives the observable and relation is like this. So, this equation is called Eigen equation ok Eigen equation uh, and this Eigen equation. So, this wave function then 
if it follows this type of equation eigen equation so then the psi is called eigen eigen state eigen state okay and this so then psi will be called eigen eigen state and e is will be called the eigen eigen value eigen value okay eigen value okay. so there are uh, many there are many uh, uh, basically um, there are many algebra one can or rules regulation uh, in quantum mechanics then one has to learn and i think you, you have to learn slowly slowly okay and uh, uh, I will just I will just briefly briefly just mention whatever I need uh, for this course. So, for, so if I uh, yes, so uh, uh, so it is so uh, it is not the case always this this happens. It is not the case always it happens. Okay. So, it depends on different condition. So, operator we tell this uh, operator are linear have to be linear Hermitian. So, this kind of lot of uh, conditions are there algebras are there I think that we have to if you do not know you have to learn slowly slowly. Uh, but I just I will I, I briefly I will tell and I will use uh, those property. So, what is linear that you should you should learn linear operator which operator ok Hermitian operator Hermitian operator ok and uh, yes. So, these two terms are very important. So, when it will be called linear operator, when it will be called Hermitian operator for uh, for real system for real observable. So, it has to be Hermitian ok. So, there are some definitions. So, I am not going to just uh, uh, do the things just uh, I, I, I just mentioned and uh, and you have to you have to be familiar with this uh, uh, these terms. And uh, so, so for a system and also this uh, the psi, also the psi. As I told, this uh, so psi about the psi is basically its wave function. So wave function when we tell wave function, it's the uh, it is something like this varying when we tell particle when we tell particle. So, as if this it so it it indicates that say uh, you can you can you can uh, locate you can locate the particle um, precisely and when we tell wave it is you cannot locate you can locate you cannot locate. Uh, like like this ok. So, there is a uncertainty there is a uh, so uh, where you cannot locate ok where you cannot tell definitely ok. Then we tell about in terms of probability ok. So, what is the probability what is the probability of something ok. So, that probability that probability uh, to find either either position or momentum or, or other things ok. So, then that we tell we define probability uh, it is in terms of psi psi star or psi star psi ok psi psi star ok. So, uh, so, 
we tell the psi if we tell this uh, uh, to to get to get the particle in a small volume dv in a small volume dv okay in small volume dv so what is the probability to find the particle in in in, in small volume dv okay so then it is the probability psi psi star dv that is the probability to have to 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 get the particle um, within this volume dv right now is if as if this whole is particle where it is i don't know but it is inside a box of volume v okay but if i want to look at the position of this particle so definitely i cannot tell so only i can tell in terms of probability but one thing is clear or we we define in, in that way the wave function has to be such that the probability to have the particle inside this box as a whole volume v it is one probability is one okay so so then then this to find the particle in this box of volume v so we have to if i integrate over v so then will definitely will get the particle in that box so probability is one so maximum probability that is the that is the one and uh, and if you if you want to find out the position of the particle or to find out the particle within the box at at some places so then this probability will be different less than one okay so so this is the probability and this we tell this then if finding the particle within this box then probability is one so that way if we uh, if we uh, if we form the wave function so then that wave function we tell this a normalized wave function this wave function is normalized okay if it is if it is like this that uh, the probability to find the particle inside the box is not one okay so it may have some value it's four say okay so then wave function is not normalized wave function then we divide it by four uh, we divide this wave function we divide by basically not four by uh, yeah uh, divide by four then two two shy shy star are there okay so basically half shy half shy and this other one also half shy okay so this that way we normalize this wave function so that half factor is coming because of this normalization so that way really we normalize the wave function in such a way the total probability to find the particle that is uh, one okay so uh, this way we define wave function we, we, we develop wave function we develop wave function and uh, yeah then then as I told this uh, inside the box particle are there total probability the probability to find the particle inside the box is one that is fine but if I if I just divided the box if I divided this box and make small small cell hmm, imagine small small cells okay now if i want to know the uh, that now the particle where it is in which box it is in which cell it is so now it is difficult to tell where it is okay so only we tell that what is the probability to have the particle uh, in this cell say cell number 6 or cell number 5 okay so then we have to find out the uh, we have to find out the that probability okay to to get the position of the particle so in that case so generally uh, uh, this probability to find the or average value of the position average value of the position this kind of uh, language we use 
so average position of the particle if it is earth okay or average average momentum of the particle average energy of the particle etc okay so that one can find out we say say it's the psi 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 star your operator is psi then apply on psi okay so this will be the definition of this one okay. r this is the average value of r okay. so if i want to find out the average value of r so this average value of of, of momentum so one has to define like this psi star p psi so that way we can one can find out the probability uh, uh, average value of this of the of the observable parameter so that is uh, but but difference when but in case of in case of eigen function in case of eigen function okay wave equation eigen if if if, if this this wave function satisfy this this wave equation then this energy or this observable definitely it has only we can definitely we can we can tell what is the energy it's it's not average energy it's not average energy okay so so wave function one has to form one has to develop now i told this you have box now uh, inside box particle somewhere in this within this box, but inside this box I have many cells, I have divided many cells. Okay. Now, particle can stay in any of the, of, of the cell, but uh, it is not that it is it is staying only in one cell. So, uh, if you see this okay, particle now in this cell, exactly in this cell. Okay or particle exactly in this cell okay so that way it's uh, uh, if it is the case particle is in this cell okay so then it will follow it will follow like this it will follow this wave function will be so n equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so different cell different cell okay so in different cell so different cell have different position or in in this case it is different energy okay so what is the uh, so what is the energy of this so when particle will be in one of this cell so it will be that particle energy okay so it can be in any uh, any cell. So, what are the energies of those cell? Okay. So, that can be find out that if, if we get like this, if we get like this, so this this uh, this system will have many wave function psi 1, psi 2, psi 3, psi 4 and then it is uh, e 1, e 2, e 3, e 4 their corresponding energy and then complete psi. So, these are basically uh, so system have a set of a uh, psi okay and uh, we tell they are orthogonal if they are they have to be orthogonal if they are orthogonal so these are the quantum mechanical term okay so this complete this psi complete psi for the system it can be written in terms of this this their uh, eigen eigen uh, eigen wave function so wave function as i told this it's basically square of the wave function is the basically probability of anything okay so this is written in terms of uh, lay, uh, c c1 psi1 plus c2 psi2 plus c3 psi3 etc okay Okay, up to n up to n so this will be the complete wave function for the system 
and they are each one is a basically individual they have. So, they uh, the system have this have have this set of wave function uh, set of Eigen wave function one can say. Okay. So, so now here if I so this wave function contain this information that what is the probability to have the system uh, system one of in one of the uh, state. Okay. So, that is basically we tell this this coefficient are basically the uh, the weightage of this of this of this wave function weightage of this wave function. So, the or the probability probability to have in this state 1 state 2 state 3. So, that is expressed it is a square of this c 1 c 1 star is a is the weightage c 1 square c 2 square c 3 square. Okay. So, these are the weightage of for each state. Okay. So, system have many states many states okay it have possibility to have many states now system so as a whole to describe the system we form a wave function uh, combining taking the linear combination linear uh, uh, or this called superposition of this all individual waves wave stay uh, yeah wave function okay and uh, this coefficient basically tells the weightage of this of this uh, of, of each wave function and that that weightage is basically c 1 square c 2 square c 3 square of, of, of different states. So, this is the complete wave function this is the complete wave function for the system and this can be developed. So, uh, so, so task is for any problem task is to to form to develop the appropriate wave function for the system. Okay. So, that as I told wave function contain all information about the should contain all information about the about the system. So, so, uh, so, so adopting with the system one has to develop the wave function then this work is done. So, that wave function what it is that is my system because it contain all information okay. and what I want to know I want to know position if I know the wave function just I will apply position operator on that momentum operator on that energy operator on that and then I will get the uh, observables I will get the properties of the system what we want to study what we want to know. Okay. So, uh, then another things are there are commutator commutator and non commutator. Okay. So, commutator is basically is right in third bracket. Okay. So, like uh, if, if, if two operators say uh, alpha and beta two operators if this we write alpha beta commutator means alpha beta minus beta alpha okay. this commutator means is this. Okay. So, if it is 0 then we tell that alpha and beta commutes with each other. Okay. In quantum mechanical language if 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 two operator follows this equal to 0 then we tell these two parameters these two operator means this corresponds to two parameter. So, this like 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 position and uh, momentum. Okay. Okay. So, if if that is equal to 0 then we tell that these two parameter can be measured simultaneously can be measured simultaneously and accurately. Okay. If it is not 0 then we tell alpha beta is 
it's, it's a non commutator they do not commute with each other. So, one cannot measure this two parameter alpha and beta simultaneously. Okay. This happens for x and p if alpha is x if alpha is x and this p so it is not equal to 0 basically okay. it is not equal to 0 minus i h cross it is equal to minus i h cross. Okay. So, it is not equal to 0. So, in quantum mechanics which parameters or observables we can measure simultaneously and accurately and which parameters simultaneously we cannot measure accurately. Okay. So, that is expressed in this language commutator and non commutator. Okay. So, this is the this is the preliminary language of this quantum mechanics uh, just I try to uh, told. Okay. So, in next class I will I will elaborate more uh, thank you.